Okay, so I think we're down to the last four trays. Which seems like it's been taking me forever. Um, so we've got the Bell Color Mix, which is, oops, there you go. Really get much of anything done yesterday. I sat down before bed to make a list. It, I make lists, but typically I don't do like by the hour lists. But I was like, no, 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 I need to be on deadlines today and actually get a bunch of things done. Um, so I did that. But then I woke up late. I was supposed to be up at five. So that's normally what time I wake up. Granted, I appreciate that I slept in. <laughs> but I was supposed to be done with all of this stuff at... I was supposed to be done filming the video, done planting this, have the lights up, have the domes on, I think. Have the plants in the plant room watered and turned on. Uh, however, that was all supposed to be done by 6.30. And it's 7. So, I'm still not done with two parts of these the things I wanted to get done. So, I thought that was a realistic expectation. I don't know how, like, other homesteaders do this stuff and have, like, the farm animals, because, like, right now would be baby season for all the animals, or, like, getting ready to go into baby season, if I understand that correctly, where, like, you want your farm animals to give birth in nice weather, and not where, like, you have to protect them from freezing elements. I can't imagine having to do all of this stuff and getting ready to help first thing. I don't know. Got another tray of Cali Wonder. So, oh, I just lost that pepper seed somewhere. Oops. Oops. Okay, so I think I'm officially done with that one. We can hope, right? Um, so I have autumn wing gourds, which my description is they're the small birdhouse gourds with pinched sides. So like, they're the ornamental, which I didn't save these, have them dry correctly all the way. So, some mold again. We'll see what happens. So they're like, yay high, and they have like the ball, but then the neck of the gourd. And then on the sides of the ball, it's like pinched out. So if you've ever seen that, you might know what I've described. If not, you might think I'm describing something else. I don't know. But these were not fun to get the seeds out of them. They, it was very challenging to cut. And I feel like I almost cut myself a couple of times trying to get these seeds. But I got them, so now I can have them. And ideally I can save like this year's and save them properly compared to what those were. Carnival squash? I have no idea what these are. Corn squash is the next thing we're planting, which 
I've heard it's called corn squash. I've heard it's called acorn squash. Honestly, I have, I don't know, one of those. I think there was even a different name that it was called. Then I have cacao squash, which is like a regular pumpkin. I think it might have like green stripes, like jagged green stripes on it, but it's a shellless pumpkin seed that you get out of it. So I don't know if you can see that. Wonder if you can see it better if I dig it out of the bag. Yeah? Yeah. They taste like regular pumpkin seeds. Uh, for the last, I don't know how many years, five, six years, I've been growing pumpkins and then shelling all of them by hand and you get like the nice little blisters on your fingers. Uh, to, like I like pumpkin seeds, but I don't like them with the husks, the shells on them. So oh, this was a super cool discovery that I found last year and I would even turned one of my friends on to pumpkin seeds without the shells and so she also would spend time and energy shelling her pumpkin seeds and we both would talk on the phone like oh it's pumpkin shelling season oh you got blisters yeah I got blisters that hurt I just but it's gonna be so worth it but also it's like we'd get maybe a hand worth full, like, I mean, it wasn't large quantities. And I'm like, this pumpkin exists? Friend, let me tell you about this pumpkin. We don't have to shell pumpkin seeds anymore. How exciting is that? It does taste like a pumpkin seed. This is spaghetti squash, which this is a silly amount of seeds that I've saved, but I've saved them because I might have needed them. <clears throat> or some of my other friends might have needed them. Hard saying. Helen? So, I'll take my 12 out of this giant bag. <laughs> I wanted to plant 20 of these, not just the 12. Because I wanted to save some for myself, save some for like the fall decor, and then sell some if people wanted. And then this is called Macarona. Macaronawa? Or squash? Let's see. You, oh, I won't put you off. Um, that's what it's called. Okay, so however you say that, um, it's a Polish spaghetti squash. So, big words over there. Okay, so I had to take a moment and find my Brussels sprout. And then while I was doing that, I found the sugar baby seeds for the watermelon. And so we're planting Brussels sprouts Groninger seeds. Um, holy smokes, that means plant that many or get that many out. Um, I plant Brussels sprouts as a pest deterrent. Um, I think it's the aphids or squash bugs Oops. that really enjoy eating this plant. Which, listen, if you want to eat this plant and not all my other plants, that's cool. I can plant this for you every year. There's going to be one year that I would like to actually eat these for myself, but 
We'll get to that. Also, this is like a... I believe it does better for like fall gardening. So it has that cool weather. Painted Lady in Crew. And I got these at the Seed Swap. And there you go. Really pretty flowers. So my friend also got it. And then I was adding this to my seed collection and kind of reading the back of the packet and stuff. To where when we discovered that these are actually beans and not just flowers. So that was a fun surprise. <laughs> um, who knew? Holy smokes. These are large large beans. I was not... Oh. They're very large. I wasn't prepared for that one, so... Cool. Cool. These ones I was just drawing for myself to see what they tasted like, what they were like before. I could be like, these are great! Everyone should grow them in their garden. I don't. I'm not there. I don't know. And then my friend and I, we seed swapped, and she had pumpkin on a stick. I ain't ever heard of that. I was very curious about that. I want to grow that. So, um, I want to plant 20 of these if I have that many. From what I've read about these, they grow um, like as a bush, as a regular bush, not like veggie bush. Could be wrong. I haven't seen this. But so it grows as a bush, and then it grows these sticks out of, out of the bush, and then these little pumpkins grow. It says it's part of the eggplant family, which is also interesting. So I don't really know if it's like actually, I mean right, we say it's an eggplant, or we say it's a pumpkin on a stick, but like, is it a salad pumpkin or is it like a flower looking pumpkin? I don't know, but I'm gonna grow them and figure it out and that will be cool, cute. I don't know why I'm growing 20 of them if I'm keeping them. Oh yeah. It's planted now. And then I wanted to try to grow a honeydew. These seeds are from 2020. So... It's hard saying. I said five, but I'm just gonna plant the rest of the packet. Cause I feel like every time I plant honeydew, they'll start to form. But then never actually like matures fully. So that's a real bummer. But it could be like, I don't know, I haven't tried this in a while. And then we've got Kajari Melon. Which, it's like a, maybe exotic fruit is what I want to say. But maybe that's not what I, what I want to say. But I believe these ones are the palm size. I grew two melons, Rich Sweetness, 132, and Kajari Melons. They look pretty identical, I would say. One is like the size of a tennis ball, one's the size of maybe ten tennis ball's too small. Maybe one's like this size, that size. 
and then the other one's like that size. So I don't know which one does which. I'm so informative. Which has been an interesting part of trying to start business things. I showed my one friend the plant uh, customer list. And she called me with a bunch of questions. And I was like, wow, I'm really glad you did this. Because I was, like, I'd, I've done this long enough that... I don't know, I like these things, these things are good. You want details about these things? Golly, I don't know about details. <laughs> zinnias. I have two different types of zinnias. Uh, Lilliput and then Purple Prince. Purple Prince. So pretty. <clears throat> I want to plant 40 of each. That's more so. So we've gotten all of this stuff all potted up, ready to go with my giant mess that I've created. And then that's Tess. And then we've also gotten all of this stuff planted. So thanks for going on the journey with me.